today is a very exciting day for me and something I desperately need. I am getting my hair done, but we are making a very big change. I am going fully blonde. I have never been fully blonde besides when I was a child, but this is gonna be very, very blonde. I'm gonna pop up my inspo photos. Like, I'm talking blonde, guys, like almost platinum. I'm nervous, but I'm also very excited. This summer, we are going out to Italy for my sister's wedding, and I feel like it would be so cool to have bright blonde hair for that, but I don't want to get that done right before and then end up hating it. So I figured I would do it now as kind of a little tester, feel it out, see how I like it, see if I want to do something different for Italy. You guys saw the last time I got my hair done, and that was very blonde for me. I only had a little bit of brown at my roots or I think I'm technically a dirty blonde. I just feel like it looks very brown at the moment but I am going all the way to the roots and I'm so excited. I've also just been feeling very blah, kind of bored with my look and I feel like I could use this little glow up. Speaking of blah, I am sick at the moment but I'm just sniffly and my voice is a little off I feel like so sorry about that. <laughs> for right now I'm gonna sit here finish my coffee. I'm just watching some YouTube. I'm currently watching some of Luna Montana's old YouTube videos and then I need to shower and start getting ready. I can also take these off now. I always have a shower before my hair appointments. I obviously don't wash my hair. I just have a body shower and I'm also gonna cleanse my face as well. My boyfriend's mom got me a little Valentine's Day gift and in it was these Paul's shower melt. It's like aromatherapy and soothing essential oils, which is perfect because I am sick right now. But you like place it near the drain. <laughs> Smells exactly like Halls that you would take for like your throat. Crazy. All right, I'm gonna go have a quick shower and then I'll be right back. I'm gonna wear something nicer for my actual appointment, but for right now, I'm just wearing this oversized Elvis t-shirt and some shorts. I feel so refreshed after that shower, so I'm really glad I did that. I don't know if I have the flu or the cold or what is going on, but on Friday, I had seven nosebleeds. The fuck? I got my hair done in November and it has grown out so much. I also wanna get my curtain bangs redone because I don't even think you can call that a curtain bang anymore. It is way too long. For like three years now, I've had almost like these rituals before I get my hair done. I do the same thing every time. I always rinse before. I always make a before and after like transition TikTok because they're so much fun. I always wear black to my appointment and I always have my makeup done, especially when I'm dyeing it because if I get my hair dyed and I don't have my makeup done. Like the new hair is already throwing me off. I need the makeup to make me feel like I look more normal. Does anyone else get that? Especially because my hair gets all nicely curled after. This is probably going to be the biggest hair change I've had in quite a while because I had black hair and I've just been slowly transitioning to more and more blonde, but I can only do so much each time I got my hair done so I wasn't killing off my hair. So it's been like slow changes, but I think the last like drastic change I made to my hair was probably back in like grade nine when I had like faded bleach hair and then me and my mom box dyed my hair brown. We thought it was a dark brown but it was actually a reddish brown so I had like red hair for two days and then we got an actual dark brown and redid my hair because I hated the red and then I had like almost black hair. That was probably the last like really big drastic change. transition queen over here. <laughs> Makeup is done. I did a little bit of eyeshadow just to be a little fancy because I haven't done makeup in a few days and I'm really trying to feel good about myself right now. But I'm just gonna quickly get changed. I just made a reservation at Cactus Club where I work actually and me and my mom are gonna go get some lunch. She wants to go check out a store at Willowbrook Mall and then by then it should be time to head out to our hair appointment. I'm so excited. All of my nice black sweaters are in the wash. So we're going pink, so we're switching it up and I got some jeans on and I'm gonna wear my platform Uggs. And my hair's greasy, so I have it back in a claw clip. I don't know if I like it though. All right, we got a messy half up, half down. Let's go get some lunch. Are you 
ready for the hair reveal in three, two, one. Blonde all the way to the roots. I feel like the girl in Legally Blonde right now. Or like Regina George. That's what I feel like I'm giving. Especially with the pink top. I'm so obsessed. I cannot go quite as blonde as my inspo pics. Just because I did have quite a bit of breakage in my hair. But still, this is the most blonde I've ever been. I'm so happy with it. And lately I've been wanting to go back to my dark brown hair. But I'm like, I need to give the blonde a moment. I've had dark hair for so long and I've been working towards this from black. How to show it off in different lighting. Like I'm, I'm living for it. It is a moment. This was also definitely the little glow up that I needed. I tried to cut off a little bit of hair because my ends were so dead. Anyways, that is all for this video. I just kind of wanted to do a cute little extra video for you guys. Also, we're getting so close to 1K, which is super exciting. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys soon.